So, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, obviously, this video is for people who don't know how to use it. This is uh, this is Kawaii Compiler, aka Roblox Script Lua U Script to Bytecode Compiler and Deserializer. So, this is gonna be a full video on how to use it because a lot of people are asking me in the server how to use it. It's not really that hard. Uh, so, uh, uh, technically, what you want to do is you want to join the server, which will be in the description. Uh, just ask someone for addresses. We won't all provide it, obviously, because you know, this kid's gotta learn itself, like me, so we're gonna have to learn that. I mean, I, I already know how to get the addresses, but I don't know fully, like, 100% know about exploiting development. I, only, I don't know, like, 100% like this man right here, but technically what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to use it, because a lot of people are, keep begging me in the server on how to update it, so, and how to use it generally, so you wanna go on to here. Right here, it will be the it should be the pinned one, the first one. Come like compiler, go here, download, and then click in download. So see right here. Uh, wait for that to download, and then and then it will come as here. You want to go and click extract files. We're gonna put this in our desktop. Desktop. Like compiler main. So let's put it on our desktop. Close out this Windows. And now it's gonna come as a window right here. So let's press that. And then you got right here. And then there's gonna be no SLN. So what you wanna do is you wanna double click here and go on to the VSC VCX project. Click and open with Visual Studio 2022. And just wait. Wait for that to happen. So yeah, this is the full video on how to use it because a lot of people are annoying me. So once you download that, go to here. Go on to this file section, click on DLL main, and then you want to modify your changes. So, if I'm assuming you're using this for your exploit, so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. First, what you want to do the first thing that you want to do, go here into your architect and put it to release. So, you're now your configuration is released and put it to x86. And then, wait a bit, this error should go away in a few. Okay, so see. There it is. Now, what what do you want to do is you want to change your pipe name. Now, obviously, you're skidding the exploit. It doesn't matter if you give credit. You're still skidding it. So this right here is gonna be the pipe name. Um, however, you want to change. So make sure to change it. Otherwise, you're gonna be called skid even more. I'm gonna change it to something like script pipe. Go down here and change this right here to whatever you want. So I'm gonna put in uh, my exploit name, which is just like. Uh, JJ exploit compile. I don't know what to put. So this is just the advanced information. Blah blah. So this is identity one is space empty space two. It's gonna put it to JJ exploit compiler loaded DLL. So that's just the changes. You don't have to actually do it unless you are obviously scanning. Close out of this. Go to addresses.h. So the main everything is an execution DLL main scheduler. This is by Nizi or Nezi. Let's fix it a bit. So now what you're gonna have to update, I'm gonna show you updating. So these are what you have to update. I'm gonna go to Ida and get it real quick. Obviously I'm not gonna tell you how to get them. This will be a really long video on how to get each addresses. So I'm gonna uh, make sure to join the server. We're gonna teach you how to do it probably. You might be called a skid like a lot of times, but that's okay. I mean, I went through that. So it's 20 and then 28, which is perfect. These don't change, barely have ever changed. Now, Lua State, which I'm going to provide as well in a second. Uh, okay, so let's provide, let's go to Lua State. Return. Then we're going to return this. This, we can, this can also be found. Let's see. Let's see. So, this is the Lua State which will also provide, so this has to be updated, line 16 update, line 19 update. These have to be updated, well, specifically speaking, these have to be updated. So let's go to the server, hopefully, I'm pretty sure someone gave it here. Someone, somewhere had given it here, I think it's postcode. Yeah, right here. So right here, these are the addresses, thanks to this dude right here, Goofy or Gorilla. Uh, so we're gonna paste that inside of here. You, you can also get these from Seems legit. 
and then that is done this is just something garbage that i made in my free time i don't even know if it works it's also garbage but so don't update these i just put them there for no reason because it looks cool only update no i'm gonna tell you what to update this has to be updated this has to be updated these four have to be updated it's not required but i'm just calling it right here and technically that's all you have to update uh this is from lua U. So that's all you have to update. Now you want to go close on save out. Go here and click in build solution. Now open up an injector. It depends on what injector you're using. So let's wait for that. And then it should compile. Now if you get an error, a lot of people are getting weird ZSTD errors. It says like ZSTD not found. What you want to do is go here. Click in or if I go up here. I think it's the first ma no no it's the it's the skid help. So this is what probably a lot of people do get. Uh, actually important. Where is it? So if you get this error, you want to go to download Visual Studio 2022 community version or upgrade it, like this dude said. Or uh, there's also another one that I lost the announcement or something. I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah. I think it's this one right here so if you get this error right here which can I open ZST include use this thing right here I might get it not sure okay still compiling up this okay so what you want to do go put this right here now if it does error because it depends on your include path that's the only error people have gotten and this VC negative 2 or something uh, yeah, so that's how you're gonna use it. You can also change the identity on code block 48 uh, You could do eight for real men. I do seven me personally You can put it to whatever you want, but some scripts do it an identity check. I don't know why But that's that's obviously your choice. So it should work now. Let's just wait it's taking forever All right, so I compiled when I go here and copy that DLL and if you're really wondering how to rename the DLL Not that hard as well and then find your DLL path. Mine is right here, 7 p.m. There we go. Extreme injector, put it in here. So that happened. Then we're gonna close out of this. And now we're gonna open Roblox. Let's go to iPhone simulator. So make sure you're crediting me, cause you know, pro moment. Uh, oh, why am I injecting two DLLs? There we go. So you can also rename the deal by going right here. So go right here. It should be a rename or just press F2 on your keyboard or you can have double pass. I don't know, it used to work. Or you can just go right here. Rename it to whatever your DLL is and build. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, to execute scripts, you're gonna need like a like a pipe, uh, pipe connector or whatever you call it. So now let's wait. And then we're gonna inject the DLL. First we gotta see if it loads. And as I said, we will help you in the server. Inject the key. What the f uh, system injected fail. There we go. For some reason you gotta inject ZSTD as well. That's what I personally I have to do because I probably don't so it's right there it says J Display compiler loaded DLL. I guess it's, you see everything as identity is right there. Now you want to get a pipe connector or your DLL. Uh, thanks to him, I'm gonna make him admin soon. The dude that provide the addresses, but this is this is my this is my pipe connector. So this is where I will execute script script pipe pipe print yes. See, he's pro dude, so see, he's compiler. That's what you have to do to work. It's pretty simple. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we will provide with more sources in the future, but thanks for watching and peace out.